What's up guys? I'm DJ Avionics. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be unboxing, installing, and testing this new pen style and tablet. This is the Huion Inspiroy H640P Papa, and this is a battery-free pen and tablet that I got from Amazon. Now, this only costs $10 more, $40, than the XP Pen Star G640 that I unboxed and opened and reviewed. So, and that one cost $30. So $10 more, you're getting a couple uh, more features than that one. All right, so let's go ahead and start unboxing this. Now, like I said, it's on Amazon. So if you're looking to buy this, go ahead and check out the Amazon affiliate link down below in the video description. All right, so inside here we've got our download drivers. So we're gonna be doing that here in a little bit. It's got the website for that, the warranty card. Thank you for choosing Huion card. Now, um, from what I've read that you could also use this with your tablet or phone, not on any iOS devices like iPad and iPhone, not as of yet. So you can use it on your Android phone or tablet if you have that. So I have the Samsung Note 10 Plus, so we're gonna be testing it out with that as well. All right, so here we got more instructions in all different languages. Now the 640, if you don't know already, means you have a six inch by four inch working area. So it's uh, we're, so we're comparing it to that video that I mentioned um, where I reviewed the XP Pen Star G640. They're both the same size working space. This, I could already tell, is a little bit bigger just uh, and physically because what I like about this one is it has uh, these six shortcut express keys. I think it'd be good for programming it for an undo or some other functions. So undo would probably be my number one shortcut on that. So here is the tablet and this tablet is measuring about just over 10 inches by five and three quarters inches and it's about a quarter inch tall so and it's got a nice rubber feet so it won't move around on you all right what else do we have we've got here's the pen so this has a, a button on the side where you're supposed to be able to click back between eraser and um, pen mode so here is the usb cable and it seems to be long enough to be able to wrap around your computer or your or your laptop or even I guess your phone even though you're, you'll be connecting this into an adapter if you're gonna use your phone which looks like it comes with the adapters right here so it comes with a type C adapter and a micro USB adapter so I have a 2018 MacBook Pro and it has type USB ports. So we're going to be using the type USB port for that as well as my Samsung Note 10 Plus has a type C USB port. We have the pen holder. I can get out of the box. There we go. Now this is pretty cool because you could actually stow it away like I guess like that or like that or I guess like this too on, on its side so this looks like the quick start guide so we'll be taking a closer look at this and it comes with nibs extra nibs so on the bottom of the the pen holder there's a, a quick a, a nice little tool for you to be able to remove your stylus I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna do that right now but um it also has extra nibs in here it's a nice quick storage area, quick access. So just don't lose the pen holder, huh? So we're gonna go ahead and install the drivers and install anything else we need on the computers. Okay, so now we are at the website, huion.com slash download. And we are going to download the corresponding driver. So we're just gonna go down to product model and look for it. Scroll down. H640P right here, 8192. So we're gonna be using my MacBook Pro, so I'm gonna use Mac OS. Right here in the drop down product model, we want the driver. 
All right. Submit. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and close the customer support window. Now we want the latest driver. So the date of release here, we have June 12th, uh, 2020. Oh, that just came out a few days ago. That's four, version 14.4.5. So let's go ahead and download that. Let's go ahead and unzip that file. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and read the driver installation guide. So basically open up the DMG file or for Windows EXE file. All right, so it says here to go ahead and drag the Hueon tablet into applications. Okay, that's copied when installation is complete. Oh, here we go, it's going. Let's go ahead and plug this in. When installation is complete, use digital pen, touch the working area of the pen to the tablet, click open system preferences on the pop-up. All right. Oh, so okay, so we're already moving the cursor, which is pretty cool. And this does have pressure sensitivity, 8192. So you don't even need to touch the surface um, if you're close enough, about a half inch. You can see that. That's nice, that's nice to know because that way you don't have to be actually touching the tablet to know where the cursor's at. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and test it out with Photoshop. Right away, I'm noticing that if I'm on the left side of the working area, I am right here on this edge of my screen. If I go, if I move the pen to here, we are at the right edge of the screen. So I'm gonna find out how I can actually use this whole working space between the four dots. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for the H640P application. And that's probably where we are going to configure that. Here we go, Huey on tablet. Yes, open. Okay, here we have the accessibility access. So go ahead and hit open system preferences. We're gonna grant access. Hit the padlock, put your password or your thumb or fingerprint. And we're gonna scroll down and tick the checkbox for tablet driver agent. And then click the padlock again, close that out. We're done with that. Okay, go ahead and close all that. All right, so here we are going to configure the work area So here, again, we're back at privacy and we want to tick the Huion tablet checkbox. Huion tablet will not be able to record the contents of your screen until it is quit. Okay. Go ahead and close out of that. All right. So we want the full area. So click full area and hit apply. So let's see if now, okay, now we are getting the four, the four corners work area which is six inches by four inches so go ahead and close out of this I'm just gonna write my name cool well that works all right so let's go ahead and now try it with my Samsung Note 10 Plus okay so here's my Samsung Note 10 Plus Android phone I have the Type-C adapter still connected to the USB cable. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Now I have the Autodesk Sketchbook app. Go ahead and open that up. Okay, so this is supposed to just be plug and play. So let's just go ahead and start drawing. And it looks like it is just plug and play. So let me just draw in the work area here show you the workspace of the tablet for mobile phones so it looks like it goes right up to here on the edge so this is your perimeter or border yeah right there all the way down so right here is your workspace now it says here in the quick start guide that it says the pen buttons and press keys are not supported in phone mode so these do not work, and neither does this. Neither does this. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and set up these express keys that are on the left. 
So go ahead and connect it back up to your computer, USB. Click on the Huion tablet in the Applications folder. And it'll tell you that the device is connected right down here. Let's go ahead and press the Press Keys button. Now here we have our programmable Express Keys. And it looks like they already have an Undo. So this one's the Undo button. Shortcut Command Z. This one's Command Minus or Dash, which is Zoom Out. This one is Command Plus to Zoom In. So me personally, those are ones I already use a lot. Zoom In, Zoom Out, Undo. So, um, and then over here, they're kind of already, this one's Command S, which is Save, but you can, if you want to program these, you, you click over here, Clear String, and then um, if you click on here, you can see that it's entering it in. So let's go ahead and clear, clear all that, or uncheck all these. Okay, clear string. Let's do Command P for print, for example. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit P. Okay, and then that should bring up the print dialog. All right, so let's go ahead and apply. We'll close this out. We're gonna go ahead and open Photoshop back up. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start drawing something. Oop. And Here's a pressure sensitive test right here. As you can see, the pressure sensitivity is working. All right, so let's go ahead and try out Command Z to undo. All right, it's working. Zoom out, zoom in. Let's do the one that we programmed, just Command P and the print dialog window shows up. Let's go ahead and test the, uh, okay, so there, there's the pressing of the button on the side. So if you press it, it brings up your, your brush tools. You press the, uh, the button closest to the tip and that's your er erase button. Pretty cool. And there you have it guys, the Huion H640P Inspiroy battery free pen and stylus that you can find on Amazon and uh, Amazon affiliate link is down below so go ahead and check that out. So we've tested it on the computer in Photoshop and tested it on the Samsung Note 10 Plus phone and I really like the uh, shortcut keys that's really handy. I actually prefer this one over the XP Pen Star that I've previously reviewed in another video. So if you're looking to buy, this is only $10 more than the XP Pen. And so 40 bucks over 30 bucks. I think it's definitely worth it over the XP Pen. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. Go ahead and please leave any comments or questions down below and I'll get back to them ASAP. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you can be notified of future content like this. I'll see you guys later.